What's up everybody? Preston here with Ryder. If you don't already know, we're in Europe, traveling all around. First stop, this video, will be Spain, then we do London, then we do Germany, and so on and so forth. The videos are probably going to be, I don't know, 80-ish percent travel, 20% round net. So if you don't want to watch all the travel stuff, here's a little timestamp for you right there. Just Spike go ball. ahead and click on it. Spike ball, round net, all the goodies, clinics, all that fun stuff. It's more for us than anything to remember our trip and the amazing time we've had here. Uh, but we thought we'd share it with you guys. Maybe you'll enjoy it. Maybe not. I don't know. Hopefully you enjoy as much as we did traveling through it. But uh, let's get it going. I like me for me. made the security, haven't lost our passport yet. Had some troubles with, uh, I brought a gallon of spaghetti and they didn't like it too much, but so far we've just been freaking trying to get this ball in one of these little cup holders here. Yeah, we go to Spain in uh, an hour and 30, and then we have an 11 hour freaking flight, but uh, so far so good. We Check made it to Madrid. Hell yeah, we made it to Madrid. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know what it is, but that's a big building and it's got a bunch of statues on it. So as you can see, I don't know why everyone's dressed in like parkas and everything, but it's like, I don't know, 62, 3 today. Everyone's got big sweaters on. Some old lady literally just told us that it's, that it's Frio. And I was like, no, 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 muy bueno. <laughs> but anyway, we're at a big thing. Yeah. But we made it to Madrid. Let's freaking go. Hey, yo! What up guys? We made it to Sevilla. It's our first stop on our big trip. We landed in Madrid yesterday after an 11 hour flight. Cruised around there, asked people why the heck it's cold. It's, it's a nice day. It's, it's a nice day for January. It's a nice day. January. It's, it's, nice it's day. not warm. No. It's not this weather, but no, no. I feel like it's still, no, I feel like it's like, not That's like, why I just carry this. I'm dressed like an onion. I have layers below. See, if I get too hot, take some off. This man watches straight. Layers. Onions have layers. Now we are in Sevilla, cruising around with Javi, drinking some bifrutas. We are somewhere in front of something. Uh, but yeah, we're just cruising. It's the, it's the Plaza de España. <laughs> it's Plaza de España. Oh, there's Javi right there, by the way. What's up, Javi? Hello, Javi. <laughs> um, he's actually buddies with Ryder from like, who knows how long ago, like six years ago when Ryder used to live here. But yeah, we are in Sevilla, cruising around, looking at sites and uh, yeah. <laughs> they got boats here. They got big old cool buildings here. They got some show over here we're gonna check out right now. I don't really know what to expect, but I heard it. I told it's um, flamenco told, dancing. It's what's, flamenco. what's flamenco dancing? Flamenco dancing is the typical dance here. It sucks a lot, but it's cool. It sucks a lot. <laughs> also, they have Taco Bell here, if you didn't know, and Burger King. We freaking missed the initial uh, flamenco show, but it looks like they might be setting up another flamenco show up top. You just need a segment that says pigeon break. <laughs> it says you pulling around pigeons. Oh no. Spike what? the ball? Spike, yeah, what? See? Yes? Yes? yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yes. Spike the ball. Prior to hearing music, it wasn't really enough, but now that I'm in Spain and I hear music and like I'm in cool buildings and whatnot, perfecto. We're trying to shake her. Fast, come on, fast. Oh. Easy. <laughs> Got One, the... two, three. Eh. One, two, three. Eh. Hey. 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 Made it to the top. A whole new world. So this whole entire trip, we got one spike ball to last us what two, three weeks, three weeks, and we're trying to keep it. So with that being said, I'm gonna chuck it off the edge to Javi. <laughs> Javi. Oh, easy. Now throw it back. What's the word for throw? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> gotta put some, gotta put some muscle it. behind it. <laughs> he says, give it to him. Hey, oh. Oh. Hey, oh. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Take Takes up. He's taking off the backpack. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, let's go. Hey, got a bag. <laughs> 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 Wait, what are we? What are we? What are we doing? <laughs> We're gonna feed about four thousand pigeons right now. All right, here we go. <laughs> they already know. They already know what's gonna. Oh shit! 
Oh. Oh. oh, I don't have any food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at the ground. Yo. Here, I got some pigeons for you. <laughs> Look how many freaking pigeons there. Okay, okay, okay. Also, I got my freaking bro right here. <laughs> What's up, dude? We survived. I got a ton With of freaking scratches. scratches. Look at that. <laughs> For Euro 50. We'll just say you got it from in bed. It's, yeah, yeah. 100%. That was Javi's joke. I'll give credit to Javi. Javi's joke. Not my joke, not my joke. Javi's joke. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to a new day here in Spain, and with that comes a new show that we like to call Can It Round Neck. Today we find ourselves under the Mary Pole Parasol, otherwise known as Giant Shade Structure here, and we find ourselves at a playground with a four-sided fidget spinner thingamajob. We're going to test it out, we'll get right back to you with a rating, be right back. So we're gonna rate it. We have a rating system, very, very uh, tested and professional. Uh, first off is ingenuity, so like creative. Second off is playability, and third is just strictly how much fun. So I'm gonna let Ryder go first. Ingenuity, we're gonna give it an eight out of 10. It's very creative, there's a lot going on to it. Uh, <laughs> playability, we agreed on an eight, but for playability, I would say it's around like, it's around like a 7.6. Fun, we're gonna give it a five. We're gonna give it five out of 10. However, also, bonus thing, if you can take a look over here, they have a barrier built into their court. And they have this squishy, you know, material here. So one, one thing about this whole area, the reason why playability is about to take a hard hit right now, is the, the developers of this particular round net set built it around other play structures. I don't know whose idea it is. But the biggest thing is, from 7.6, we're going down way to like a 6.4. It's crowded, there's noise, and honestly, there's a lot of chances for hinders to occur. Overall, uh, we're gonna say 5.7. 5.7 is a fair score for the four-sided uh, wingamajigger thingamajob. It does have a lot of shade, though. It does have a lot of shade. <laughs> yeah, this whole thing's giving it shade. All right, anyway, but that's our take on this piece of round net equipment here in Sevilla, Spain. Till next time on Does It Round, Can It Round Net? One of the two. <laughs> I'm not sure. What was it? Till next time on Can It Round It. I'm Preston. I'm Ryder. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs> Ryder's talents are being noticed by the locals. Let's check out this picture he's taking. Ooh, the switch of the angle. Oh, ooh, the low angle. The Dang. no look. <laughs> the no look. You know, I was wondering, is it harder to get high fives in different cities that you don't speak like native language? Because normally I just say high five and put it up. So I'm gonna try it out, give people some high fives. If it works, sweet. If not, even sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> Easy high five. Fist bump? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> what, was that no. <laughs> what was that noise? I got a thumbs up, not a high five. So, you know. so far, we're uh, two high fives and one fist bump out of like 10. <laughs> but also, wait. <laughs> you got to pick out the right kind of people. You have to know who's going to give you a high five and not watch. It's really easy. <laughs> Dang it. <Ooh. laughs> no. I'm 0 for like 7. <laughs> <laughs> Start spread. Sevilla, España. <laughs> These vagabond shoes. Alrighty, so take away from today here in Sevilla, Spain. Uh, people are still dressed like it's 30 degrees. It was like 65 day, beautiful day. Their shade structure had a lot of holes in it, but did provide some shade. High fives here in Sevilla, Spain are harder to acquire. <laughs> Oh. Especially for Ryder, <laughs> but maybe we don't know if that's like a personal thing or not. But enjoy the footage. We'll see you tomorrow. Here you go.
We just got here, but we're in the middle of nowhere in an abandoned high school, I think. <laughs> yeah, we're here to play some uh, round net. Yeah, as you can see, we're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so. uh, 35 teams. 35? Yeah. 35 teams? 55. 35. 15. 35. Oh! Hey! This is sick! It's the first time we walk in here, and there's like a lot of people, which is sweet. But also, look at these courts that are set up right here. They're literally like butt to butt action right here. Look, take a peek. <laughs> you have like, I don't know, this far in between each court, so we're just gonna be back to back. They literally had less than a month to set it up, so the fact that, I think there's 35-ish teams here, the fact that there's 35 teams, it's kinda crazy, it should be fun. Just finished the second round. Uh, we played uh, a guy from Portugal and a guy from Madrid. Competition is definitely uh, in high spirits. Super fun meeting everybody. Super fun hanging out. Uh, we'll get back to you in a bit. I know. Champions, let's go. It was a lot of fun playing them. A lot of laughs. Yeah, definitely a lot of laughs. But we're about to go teach them right now in a master class, they call it, or the clinic, um, which I think will help them a lot. Yeah, overall on the day, it's super quick. Now we'll go teach them. And, you know, hopefully I, they understand me and uh, <laughs> should be a lot of fun. So right now, uh, I'm trying to teach them hitting form over the net hitting, you know, it's around it. It's, there's no formal training, so a lot of them are frustrated, but a lot of them are excited. You know, hits are already getting better in a matter of like five minutes, so we'll see where we get in half an hour. Go. We got a big old trophy. We got a little uh, thank you thing. We got a first place certified. Uh, <laughs> we got everything. You know, we got everything here. Uh, I mean, I love European tournaments. What can I say? It's just like the energy, the vibes. It reminds me of like day one, uh, you know, American spike ball tournaments where everyone knows everybody. Definitely shorter than I thought, but uh, nonetheless, we did a little clinic. You know, you tell them the right thing. They've been playing for years, but you tweak them a little bit and instantly, you know, their hits are 10 times better, or whatever. I love to be here in Europe playing round net and I love to meet as many people as I can. So all in all, good day today. In terms of Sevilla, this might be the end of the video. We're not really sure yet. We actually fly to London tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed Sevilla as much as we did. We'll see you in London, we'll see you in Frankfurt, we'll see you all over Europe. Till then, it's all we got. So I've done a lot of cool travel, you know, across the United States, across Europe now, and past in Denmark and whatnot. But I met two guys who outdid, I think, everybody else in the whole entire world. Round Net World, you shout these guys out. But anyway, we have Thomas and Nico. You can see their bikes right here. 
Uh, they literally have been, what, biking for six months? Yeah. Yeah. Going to different round neck communities and playing, meeting, and just hanging out. And they're here today. Where are you guys from again? Uh, Germany from Hamelin. Hey. <laughs> Tell me a little about your journey. Like, your journey. like yeah, yeah, so this is basically all we have now for the past six months. We've been living off everything you see on our bikes. Uh, we been, Most of the time we've been sleeping in a tent. Uh, every now and again people invite us to stay at their place, but I'd say like 90% of the time in the tent. Uh, so we started in uh, Germany, and then we went to Denmark, we went to the Netherlands, then to Luxembourg, Belgium, France, and now Spain. And our next stop is going to be uh, Lisbon, Portugal. Yeah. I just want to shout out my our community, oh, yeah. there we go. best guys. Yeah. <laughs> Should support them. Sweet. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> we should all get a yell real quick. Well, no, straight.